Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Funky Food Friday here at Big John TV. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate your support. We've had a big influx of new subscribers and viewers the past couple days. We've been Thank doing really, really well. So welcome to Big John TV. Who's that down there? Maddie. I'm Jess. Jamie. And Big John. We are all about food, family, and fun here at Big John TV. Taste tests, food reviews, food challenges, road trips, funky food, foreign food. If it involves food, family, or fun, that's how we roll. So if you're new here, if you dig what you see, thanks for sticking around. Or we, we invite you to stick around, but thanks for hitting that subscribe button. And thanks for checking us out. And thanks for checking us out. So on Fridays, we do what we either call Funky Food Friday or Foreign Food Friday. We have been doing a ton of foreign food lately, and we still have several boxes. We'll probably have a bonus video over the weekend because we got a lot of product to go through. We are so blessed you guys send us stuff. It is amazing. But we wanted to get funky for Friday, and for a very good reason. What's Friday? Emily. No. Who has something oh. going on on Friday? Who picked, Nothing. Who picked today's video? Who picked the food for today's video? Me. Why? Why? Birthday. It's Jamie's birthday today. I don't, think, I don't think you can sing happy birthday on YouTube because it'll probably get copyrighted. But Jamie has officially, as of you watching this video, has turned seven years old today. Are you excited? You're how's, not excited? How's it going down there, man? You all right? I'm tired. She's tired. She's tired and has allergies. Long day of school. All right. He's, okay, behind the scenes, we're filming this. It's not his actual birthday yet, so that's why he says that. <laughs> but that's why I said when you're watching this, when this video is released, he is seven years old now. 70. So we are going. No, no, no. I'm 70. 70, 70 years old. old. All right. Wait, so we are. 111? Yeah. Yep. All right. So we are going funky. We've done a video like this before, and you guys loved it. The response was fantastic. So we say funky, not. God? What? MOE. We say funky not in a negative way, just that the food to us is considered funky. And funky is just abnormal, weird, different, right? MRE. Yep, meals ready to eat. Who eats these, Jamie? Military. The military. I do too. Jamie does too. We've done one before and it was delicious. We had fun. So we're going to do it again. These are meals ready to eat, individual. This is a legit Department of Defense, United States of America. Warfighter recommended, warfighter tested, warfighter approved. Boom. Um, this is out of Evansville, Indiana. U.S. government property. Commercial resale is unlawful. Wait, this is real. But we were lucky enough to get it. So. Yeah, this is very, very real. real. What? This is the first time I got to point out. There's a bald eagle. Yes, there, there is an eagle on there. It's the steel of the United States Department of Defense. Right oh, there yeah. on top. Awesome. Oh yeah, it does improve just the information on the goddamn So this one is menu number 16. What's that say? MOE. Rib shaped barbecue flavor pork patty. AKA McRib. The McRib in a bag, MRE style. How awesome is that? Pretty cool. Is it awesome? Can I like so why do we consider these funky? Because you don't need any vessels to cook in. What? Do you, how do you cook these, Jamie? Do you remember? Because um, we're going to have to show them again. We're going to need water, maybe. Mm -hmm. No, water for sure. Um, and that's it. That's all we need to cook it is water. Yep. So these are funky to us because these are shelf stable, shelf -stable like packaged and sealed and safe and water resilient water. <laughs> waterproof <laughs> and you just need water you can do these out in the field you can do these on a camping trip so and the fact that we don't have don't know exactly what's in this bag right other than the pork patty dust makes it funky so let's get open all right i want to okay i will peel it open and you can pull things out Deal? were we able to peel it open last time or do we have to cut it it says peel <laughs> kudos for reading directions Good job for opening it for me because I there you go. Wrote my English you pull stuff out. That's the only thing. That's the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, All right. hey, you got it. Hey. So those are tear spots. Yeah, you got it. Good job. Yeah. Oh. So that is the. I think that's the pork patty. 
it's squarish. Barbecue pork patty. You can see it's stuck in there. That is... <laughs> that we got here. Hold on, let's go slow. Ooh, Santa Fe rice and beans. Fancy. Well, this was like the one last time. These. Mm -hmm. What do we got? Toilet paper, moist towelette, yes. chiclet gum, beverage base raspberry. Ooh, we got a drink mix in there. We have ooh, a barbecue sauce packet. We have a wheat snack bread pack. Oh, Daddy. What's in this one, dude? Beef snack. Oh, I love beef hickory, snack. Hickory yeah, flavored beef stick. On. Chunked and formed. Oh, that's apple jelly. Hold on, hold on. Have yep, him to you're going, daddy. You're going too quick, my man. Okay. So here's the peanut butter. Here's the apple jelly. We had something different last time. We had berry. We did, and we had a... Spoon. Didn't have barbecue yeah. sauce last time, no. so that's awesome. All right, so this one, we have a tropical punch flavored no fruit juice. It literally says tropical punch flavored no fruit juice. So a punch... You already showed the apple jelly and the peanut butter. We have a spoon. Here is the cooking vessel for said dinner. And what's the last one, buddy? What's that one out? What is that? Um, it is, I don't know. Challenge brand, cool mints with caffeine. Caffeine? It's an after dinner mint loaded with caffeine. I'll be darn. <laughs> Natural peppermint flavor, caffeine, and a bunch of other stuff to keep it. Huh. Okay. Interesting. That one's the, this is a new one for there too. And now, so this is another that. beverage base. Did you already say there was a drink mix? This package here has in amongst the TP Ew. for when you're done eating. Don't drink TP. The chiclet gum. This is a beverage base raspberry, sugar free huh. drink mix. Ew, sugar -free. Oh, last time we had the. Nice. Last time we had hot cocoa or cocoa powder. Right. And we, um, here's a salt packet. And the moist towel. What? What if you don't like salt and you want pepper? <clears throat> then you're out of luck. So, when you're out and about and you're in the military, fighting. and you're fighting or you're in war or wherever you are, this is a hefty pile of food. Hey, it's not the. Like, these are not that as big as the ones that we get sent. Oh, okay. Do we want to get a plate this time and like yep. plate everything out? Yeah. Yep. All right, so pause. We're going to get some things set up and we'll be right back. There we go. Okay, we are set and ready to go. We're going to show you how to cook this meal. Okay, so this is our heater pouch. It's got the chemical reactive what? agent wait, in wait, there. Wait. What? If you're like in a wall and someone's like coming up behind you, no, oh, that's bad. Well, if you're in a war and you're actually like fighting, you're probably not going to take the time to sit down and try and make a rib shake barbecue <laughs> right. flavor pork patty, right? Okay. Just taking the shelf down the door. Yeah, you'd probably not worry about eating it all at the time. But that's a good thought, son. That's a good thought. Oh my goodness. Do you, how do you do both? Because you got both. You got two that need to be heated, correct? Does that one? I would assume it's Santa Fe rice. Put it in two. It's rice and beans. Put it in two. Can you fit two packets in there? I don't think so. Like one on either side of the heater? Like I literally, literally don't think that this will fit. Maybe. Well, as far as I was concerned, you got to heat up both beans and the rice and the meat. But All right, they're maybe. both in there. All right, cool. So there you go. Both of your main entree components slide down into that big giant baggie. And then we're going to pour a little bit of water in. And literally only a little bit. Can you see this fill line on the bottom? It's there. Let me see. Do not overfill. It it wants like Two an inch, yeah, like an inch of water. And you're there. That's good. You passed it. Yeah. I almost passed it. <laughs> it's because there's so much in there. So then you fold it over, lean it up against the something so it doesn't well, pour it's out. Got, first it's got this little uh, oh. cardboard pouch to put in. It fits, but it's barely, huh? There we go. And then it's supposed to lean up against something. We'll use this. So that's that. And that'll sit and cook. The main entree? Heat, cook. Is cooking. So now what would you like to open, son? Um. Peanut butter jelly on a wheat cracker? Um, let's use the water and do that. I'm going to do the drinks while you get that open. Okay. Perfect. Uh, you open that one. Wait, what is it? Crackers. Crackers? 
Oh. So I'm gonna make the raspberry that? beverage um, base. Apples. Well, they're they're like crackers, but they're also like uh, like bread. Hard tack. Yeah. Here. There you go. And then I will open the not yes, the barbecue uh, sauce. It's the sandwich. The pop. The basically pop pop. It is kind of like a big giant pop tart. Take it out and show the camera. Let them see it. That's a good, good description of it. It's like a pop tart with no filling. Right. A pop tart that stick together. <laughs> Here. All right. So, do we want to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with that? Sure. Let's do that. So, really hard, condensed, pressed slab of wheat bread. Can you use spoon? So what is that? You know what? I think we should have a bigger cup. Can you go grab a different cup, a bigger one? Yeah. Maybe the big green one. Okay. All right, here comes the peanut butter. Oh. Well, that was a lot of peanut butter. That looks kind of funky. But peanut butter is a really good protein source. Yes, Lots it of is. good energy. It's nuts. Mm -hmm. the peanuts, you're right. Yeah. Dump that All right, in there. I'll smush it down there, spread it out just a little yeah. bit. And you can pour more out of that one. Okay, Jane, you want to do... Right. Here. All right, you girls get your water situation over there figured? Yeah, I think so. Okay. We needed 12 ounces, so I'm trying to get there. Perfect. That looks about right. Okay, Jane, you want to squeeze the apple jelly onto yes, your half of the MRE <laughs> PB and J. Oh, it's steaming. It's not it's steaming, the... it's the dust. So squeeze it from the bottom of the package. There you go. Squeeze it all out. Hey. It's apple jelly. It's Why just, it's just that? kind of, you're, what are you doing? Well, that really does look like honey, though. Dude, you're about to dump it off the bread, my man. Squeeze it out, dude. There you go. Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. You got it. Excellent. I think we may need to bring this plate over here now before we end up making a big old mess. All right, so here is the raspberry beverage base. Here, I'll okay. take that one. I'll put that one right there. Don't wipe jelly all over my pants. <laughs> Preferably yours too, but... Alright, so there's the apple jelly. Kind of gets a little bit separated in there is what happened too. Yeah. Boom. So there you go with a nice little PB and J. Okay, okay. and it's so funny. Should stuff? I cut it? Let's, let's cut it. Yeah. It's interesting that they made those bread pieces like bread shapes. Like actual shapes, yes. Excuse me, why aren't you disintegrating? Keep stirring. Stir All right, buddy. Done. Do it. Grab one. There's like a little pouch. Don't let the Don't jelly let squidge all out and get you. Anybody else? I'll take some. Look, careful. Don't make a mess. That peanut butter was wanting to come right on out of there. Mm. Mm. You like that? Mm. So much. Those are good, huh? Uh-huh. The jelly is really, really soft, mm -hmm. so it wants to run everywhere. Not bad. Um, Good peanut I'm butter. Okay, sorry. I'm worried about him sticking that to my side. Stop him. <laughs> I just do it. Not bad. I have no complaints about yeah. this. Nothing weird tasting. The bread tastes like right. when you buy those Thinsters bagels. Right. Flavors, flavors great, and that peanut butter and jelly are spot on inside. I got no, dude, you're literally flinging jelly everywhere. <laughs> Here, sit up tall. <laughs> Over the plate. He's gonna need the wet wipe. Yep. Mm -mm. So I don't know if they'd actually sit down and make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but that's a pretty darn good way to do it. All right, where are we at next? Why don't you try some? Finish your, finish your sandwich, here, Bubba. So we can move on. This is what raspberry. Yeah. It's not very hot yet. Not bad. The bottom's kind of hot. It tastes like a Kool-Aid just minus the sugar. No, oh, really? Maybe. It's a little bit. In the middle, they wheat. like, um, when they drink a little bit, they put it back in the pocket and drink. Could be. In the pocket. That could very well be. What's that so one? that was the first one was the raspberry, and now this one's the tropical, tropical punch. punch. Oh, I want to try it. Yeah, there were just some chunks still at the bottom. I'm trying to. Jessica, so you mm -mm. 
Eat it, but do it quick so we can move on to the next ones, okay? If you want to. It's weird because there was a lot of powder, and I think I got the liquid in there just about right, but it's kind of a not sweet thing again. Super watered down, super weak flavor. Like that, I may have not quite had the right yeah, amount that's of water, right. but. Oh my gosh. Hurry, man, hurry. Because <laughs> it is messy, <laughs> holy guacamole. It's so All right, it's a printed game let us Texas. open. I guess we'll keep working on everything else while the main's still going, right? Yeah. We'll do the, the uh, beef snacks, right? Mm-hmm. Have you tried that juice yet? Nope, it's right in front of him. He's finishing up chewing. Too much peanut butter and jelly during mm -hmm. this video, huh? All right, I'll rip it open as he's working. Hickory flavored beef stick, chunk and form, which I mean that's just beef jerky anyway. It's kind of. That seems like a lot of packaging for a that. A lot of packaging, and that is a super thick, uh, smashed down piece of beef. Okay. Trade. All right, there's the line. I see it there. Put the lid on when you finish with that, okay? If not... There's scissors if you need them. Got it. It's got this, like, piece of... One of the chunks. Mm -hmm. That may be why the flavor's a bit off. Those chunks don't want to melt down. So. All right, so what do you... You like both of those drinks, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so here's the final beef stick out of the package. This thing is... Solid. Super thick. Oh! Wait, let me see it. Look. Lines. Mm-hmm. Take a bite, pass it down, rip off a piece, whatever you want to, however you want to do it. Thank you. Mm. All right. So maybe not the best representation of a beef stick, but I tell I you like what, it. I, it's really not bad. Really thick, really dry, but it's got a good flavor. Nice hickoriness in there. That's not even hot at all. Well, you know what? The heating element is between the two. You might not feel it on the outside right. as much. Hmm. It's actually Here. pretty good. It's not that bad. Do you want another bite of it? No, I don't like it that much. Oh, I like it. Kind of tastes like the smell of a, a dog snack. Like a dog food? Yeah. I don't think so. Notice I said it tastes like the smell of, because I don't know what it tastes like. <laughs> You're, You're sure? funny. All right, are we ready for the main entree yet? It's not super hot, but do you want to just go for it anyways? Maybe we should have just done one at a time. Uh, well, so the one, there's two options. Let it run longer or open it and hope. Is it hot on down? Mm -mm. Many hours later. Okay, so what we've done real quick, we've removed the rice packet. It was overloaded because once this came out, that temperature went up. Yeah, the water wasn't being able to get to the heating element stuff. So either it's intended to be cooked solo or not heated up at all. Right. Could be either one. I don't know. Well, I think looking at this because it specifically says on it rib shaped barbecue flavor pork patty on this. That's I think this is the only thing that's for the supposed meat. to be. That's, that's reasonable. Yeah. Reasonable assumption. I just assumed cook them both. What the heck? But then the, the bag was like, no, not going to work. Yeah, but now it's getting hot. Before, it wasn't getting hot at all. All right, well, while that's finishing then, since this doesn't have to get heated up any more than we already did a little bit, let's open up the Santa Fe rice and beans. Ooh, sounds good. You want to look at the ingredient list on there? Oh, So Santa Fe sure. would be Santa Fe like New Mexico, like probably there's chilies and probably... Oh, yeah. Non-fat dry milk, long grain rice, corn, green chilies, um... Food starch, sweet cream powder. Now, typically, I would assume that you'd probably just eat this out of the bag, but to be able to show you guys a little bit better. Looks like cat food. There's black olives. That totally looks like cat food. Holy cow. <clears throat> That's not the most appetizing thing I've ever seen. <laughs> That's why I said. I think I'm not going to try this one. He's got cheddar cheese powder. Yeah. I think I can, I think I can see it. Chili yeah. powder, cilantro, citric acid. A lot of preservatives. A lot of yeah, preservatives. See, this totally should have been warmed up, though. Like, there's... I know, that's weird. Are we going to eat it now or are you going to wait for the pork? Wait for the pork. Yeah, we should wait for the pork. Okay. There you go. So let's see. The serving size for this is one pouch. 
you get 200 calories, 8 grams of fat, 20 grams of cholesterol, 660 milligrams of sodium, Whoa. 27 grams of carbohydrates, 7 grams of protein. Nice. Yeah, this is this is moving now. This is trucking mm. along. When you see the steam coming out, that means that. So was the total like five minute cook time probably? I think so. Just a couple minutes? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we can probably take it out pretty soon. Yeah, let's do it. You ready now? Yep. Okay. Mama, smell it. It smells good. Ooh, it does actually smell pretty good. I can't smell it. If you try to smell right now, you probably only smell the chemicals from this. Mm -hmm. Ow, it's hot in there. Look at that steaming. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's all right. Cool. Well, let's do it then. Ready? Yeah. These get hard to open once they come out of the Are water. You see? Yeah, when they're a little bit slippery. <laughs> oh yeah, tastes like plastic keep being heated up. Ew. All right. Oh, oh, better not get me. Ready, set. Oh. That also looks like cat food. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh. All right, so the serving it's size small, here. Oh. If it smells like cat food. This is, this that looks like spam. Oh, this is growing. <laughs> I don't want to do Should it. I slather barbecue sauce on it? You should probably sure. put some barbecue sauce on it. Let's do it. Okay, so the serving size on the meat there is one pouch. You get 290 calories, 25 grams of fat, uh, 70 grams uh, milligrams of cholesterol, 590 milligrams of sodium. Oh, that's a lot of sauce, too. Two grams of carbohydrates and 15 grams of protein. All right, am I the brave one here at first bite? All right. Jamie, since it's your birthday, I'll let you do the honors. Ooh, first bite. You don't have to take a big one. He said it smells all right. That didn't count as anything. Take a bite. No. What? This is good. Well, we'll do it. You love rice. I'll jump in with the spoon. Mm. <laughs> good. And you another one. Overall, not bad. Bad? Yes. Here. Do it like Pass this. Me down the plate. That's actually not bad. Hey, now we need to try that. What are we oh, we absolutely it? will. Definitely. What do you think of that? See, it would be better if it was warm. That's I what agree. I'm talking about. And with a dollop of sour cream on it? Maybe There's some pork. guacamole? No, no guacamole. That would ruin it. Alright, pork patty time. Me again. Do it. Mom? Sure. Look, you can try it without. Sauce first. See how I cut it like that? Hey, Steeler. Hey, Matt. Stab that piece. Thank you. No. Alright, pork patty. Here we go. Hmm. Oh. So. Oh, my. So, yeah. You like that, Jamie? Shocking. Um, that doesn't taste like a McRib. <laughs> it doesn't even taste like pork. Here, pass it down here. I'm gonna try that with the uh, barbecue sauce. Here, let me. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, go ahead. Wait, it'll come back. Maybe. That is definitely a funky one. Definitely funky. It's got a really thick fake smoke flavor. Mm -hmm. Of course, now it's swimming in sauce, so Jamie's gonna love it extra much. He is a barbecue mm. sauce fiend. To me, it tastes just like smoked salmon. It's so weird. It's the it's the smoke on there is really strong. It's a little bit better with the sauce. It tastes a lot like this the beef stick to me. <laughs> That's funny. It's just like That's probably what it is. Just with pork product. It's like hot dog material, spam material. A little bit of fake smoke flavor to it. Good stuff, huh? What about the rice? Have you taken a big full bite of the rice yet? No, because it's probably gonna not going to taste that good. I mean, I want more of the meat before you eat it all. Give us this one more bite. <laughs> so they both love it. That's great. Uh, it's not horrible. Like, it's, certainly... It's much better than I thought it was going to be. Certainly, if you were out in the field somewhere, this would make a good dinner. This whole package together, if you sat down and ate that whole thing by yourself, you'd be full. 
nice array yeah. and nice like variations of things. No one's getting any more of this. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's the most unusual flavor. You Maybe need some rice. rice? Yeah. Do it. I like. Let me the have rice, that beef stick. I need like, to change the flavor. Oh, it's so good. Need it warm. This needs to be warm. Also, I just can't eat it. So that's the video. That's the MRE, the rib shaped barbecue pork patty. Thank you to any men and women in Wait, military white here thing? or abroad that eat these on a regular basis. Thank you very much. Um, do we need to open these cool mints with caffeine? Yeah. Sure. Which one of us needs a shot of caffeine right now? Mm -hmm. Doubt it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Oh, they look like little Altoid mints. I need to get them in my homework Ooh, those are... the rest of the day. Try it. You don't like mint. <laughs> mm, minty. So yeah, ch Challenge brand has really good butter. And they're from the Bay Area, California. Fairly local to us. I've never seen a mint loaded with caffeine before. Mm -mm. Yeah, that meal was very, very good. Tastes like dental floss. Yeah. Very minty. Toothpaste, okay. dental floss. You know and in case you didn't notice, Jamie lined up his army men here. And his tank. All right. Thank well, you. again, happy birthday, Jamie. Seven years old today. Thank you guys for watching. So make sure you smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, now's a great time to do it. Hit the bell notification. Make sure that if you think you're subscribed, that you really are. Make sure you hit that button because I just got a comment the other day about someone, why am I not seeing your videos? YouTube does funny stuff sometimes. And if you really dig them, Really dig our videos. Share them with your friends. Share them with your friends. One more thing. What? What if when we open this um snack, a what just starts happening? That'd be crazy. These are gross now, by the way. The after flavor of these. Yeah. Horrible. They taste like, like a pill, like yeah, dry medicine. medicine -ly. That between the peanut butter and jelly and that and the beef stick and the fake smoke and the beans and now the mintiness. There's a lot of weird flavors going on. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Bye. 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 Thank you, Mr. Bye-bye.